What's up, Internet? My name is Craig Lowen. I'm a program manager at Microsoft working on the Windows subsystem for Linux. And we have a new announcement. WSL is now available inside of the Microsoft Store. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like on my machine. I'm here on Windows 11. I'm going to go to turn Windows features on or off. And this is how you would normally be able to tell if WSL is installed. But you'll notice that on my machine, I have this box checked off. So that means that there are no in-box or in-Windows image binaries that are powering WSL. Uh, however, I can go to my Windows terminal here, and you can see that I have Ubuntu and Debian installed as WSL distros, and they run. I can even go ahead and run things like Microsoft Edge uh, straight from this Linux instance and go ahead and use this full browser experience uh, exactly as I would using a Linux GUI app inside of WSL. What's actually powering this is we have made WSL an app in the Microsoft Store. So it's called Windows Subsystem for Linux Preview. This is the first preview of it that we're um, basically putting out there so that we can start working on this. And all you need to do is go to the Microsoft Store page, search for Windows Subsystem for Linux, and then you click there and click Install. The only other requirement that you have to actually be able to, to have this on your machine is you need to go to that Turn Windows Features On or Off dialog and make sure that you have the virtual machine platform component enabled. And that's literally it. That's the install process. And from there, you'll be able to use WSL entirely as you would normally, um, be able to access all of your Linux files and do your Linux workflows. So that's cool, but why did we make this change? Well, WSL has traditionally been an optional component inside of Windows. That means that all the binaries are actually serviced and are as part of the Windows OS image themselves. So anytime they needed to be updated, you would need to update your whole Windows OS image. Now that we're part of the store, um, you can update WSL just by itself without needing to update your entire Windows OS image. This means that as a user, you get the latest updates faster and you get them more easily without having to modify your Windows OS version. We've added some small improvements to this release preview version in the store, uh, just to make it obvious that you're using the store version. And one of the first ones that you might notice is if you're running long operations like import or setting version, uh, we now show an animated progress bar. On top of that, WSLG, so the ability to use Linux GUI apps, is now integrated into this package, meaning you don't need to install another separate MSI. Everything that you need is in this one exact package. Let's do some Q&A. So the first is, if I already have WS installed, can I use this? And the answer is yes. On this machine, I have WSL enabled the same way that you probably do, which is I have the optional component inside of Windows enabled. So there, there, are, there are inbox binaries for WSL existing here already. I ha already have WSL installed. And I can go to this, the, the Windows terminal, and you can see that I can interact with these, but all I need to do is go to that store page and search for the Windows Subsystem for Linux and click install when I'm in this case, and it'll install it. You're able to have both installed side by side, but the Windows Subsystem for Linux version in the store always takes precedence. So when it's installed, you'll always just be using the store version. We want to make it really easy to use uh, whatever version works best for you. And we can know that we're on the store version because let's take advantage of a, a new command that we added that's currently in the release preview of the store, um, WSL dash dash version. That shows me the WSL version that I'm using and that corresponds to the store version. And related to that, can I use WSL1 distributions with this version in the store? And the answer to that is also yes. You can use WSL1 distros. So you can see that I have Debian here and I can go ahead and run that um, and fully interact with this WSL1 distro just like I would normally. The key point for this is that to use WSL1, you need to have the Windows Subsystem for Linux optional component enabled. So when you're using WSL2 distros, you don't need that enabled because everything is out of the Windows image for WSL2 distributions. However, with WSL1 distributions, that uses a translation layer and we use a Pico process uh, that exists inside of the actual kernel layer of Windows. That needs to be tightly coupled with the Windows image and that's not something that we can bring outside of the Windows image. So for all WSL1 intents and purposes, uh, you need that turn Windows subsystem for Linux feature enabled, but you can still have the store version enabled simultaneously. So even though I was interacting with WSL1, I'm still able to use um, commands that are available in the WSL store version. And I still have that installed and I'm still using that to do everything WSL related on my machine.
And the last question that we're gonna to cover today is what are the plans for WSL inside of the Windows image? So eventually we would like to move everybody to use WSL inside of the Microsoft Store. The reason for this is we think that it is a better user experience, you get updates faster, and you don't have to change your Windows image to do this. Um, however, if I go on turn Windows features on or off on Windows 11, you can see that I still am able to use this Windows Subsystem for Linux optional component. It's still there and it's still supported. So don't worry, we're not removing support for anything by adding this in. Uh, our goal here is to be data driven. We want to hear uh, from you what works best and what doesn't and see from the data of how people are using it, what we should do inside of the future. So if you would like to get in contact with us, you can at Twitter. If you want to tweet me, you can tweet me at Craig A. Lowen. And if you find any technical issues, please file them at our GitHub at github.com slash Microsoft slash WSL. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to read more about these changes, uh, you can check out the description below for links to the blog posts and our docs. Thank you so much.